Hey yo, what's up guys, Bear one Welcome to today's video. It's very different, as you guys can see in the title. Very different. I've never really done anything like this. Um, but long story short, as you guys see in the title, I connected a Wii controller and a nunchuck to my Windows 10 computer wirelessly through blue wirelessly there we go I can, wirelessly i can say words through bluetooth and then ran it through a software to connect it and use it instead of my keyboard and mouse that's what i've done that's what i've accomplished and that's what i'm going to be showing to you guys today so let me go over one thing if you guys already have this program or you already know how to do this stuff, look down in the description. This is the code that I'm using. So if you guys don't want to watch the entire video, you guys can just take that code, do that really quick. But if you guys want me to explain to you how you get this program and how you um, import everything, then I'll just watch the video and I'll show you all that. So first thing I want to say is shout out to Griism and Dutch Developer for helping me out um, with some of this. So the basic functions such as like WASD, I've edited them a little bit from what Griism has uh, to fit what I needed. Um, but the majority of like the basic functions like just moving around and jumping, those were from Griism. And then um, using the nunchuck with this, that was from Dutch Developer. Everything else I did myself and had to figure it, all that out. But um. Yeah, so, anyway, jumping into this, there's two different types of codes. We have the vertical code, and then we have the horizontal code. Um, and you guys will see that in the description of this video. So, obviously, the vertical code means vertical. So, that means you would have it like this. This is vertical. So, if you want to hold the, if you want to hold the controller like this, then you use the vertical code. If you want to uh, hold it like this, you have to use the horizontal code. So, pretty simply, you just put the code into the program. But let me explain all that first. So, I'm using a, uh, a program called GlovePy. Um, and basically what this is, is it's an emulator that allows you to connect your Bluetooth device, uh, in this case being the Wiimote, to this program and then to your computer is the best way to explain it. Now you can connect a Wiimote to your computer without actually using this program, but it won't be able to do anything. It'll just be connected, won't do anything else. You can't move um, anything with it. It's, it's just connected for no reason. But with this uh, program, then you can actually do that. So first off, let me show you guys actually how to connect your Wiimote to the uh to your computer now i'm not sure if that this works on mac so don't ask me or anything because i have no idea you guys can probably look up another video um on that on youtube there should be some uh, um some out there just look up if it's possible but let me go ahead and remove this device really quick I'm gonna completely remove this we device we we moat whatever you want to call it from here i'm gonna click on Related settings, so how you get here is the Bluetooth settings, obviously. Just go down to the bottom right corner of your screen, click on the Bluetooth button, then you'll get to here, right? So go to Related Settings, Devices and Printers. It'll pop up with this giant menu here. You go to Add a Device. You see that up here in the uh, top left corner? Add a Device. And then that'll pop up, and then you have to hold down. If that'll focus really quick. You have to hold down, really messing with the green screen there, but hold down on the one and two button hold both of those down at the same time and then it'll pop up either like input device or it'll pop up with the nintendo all that then you just press next it'll say that you need a password you don't need a password just press next again and then hold the one and two button again while it's setting this up you have to hold down the one and two button because it's basically uploading and downloading information from the uh from and to the Wii, Wii remote here so you hold it down and that allows it to fully sync and then it is now ready and installed on your computer and you should be able to see it right there somewhere on your computer here there it is you can close out of that close out of that this is now synced with your computer you can check it even in the bluetooth settings uh, if you want to go back there show bluetooth devices and then um there it is nintendo rvl whatever whatever 
So it's connected. It'll show uh, that it's a mouse and keyboard, but that's what you want it to show. Um, so now it's connected. The next part is actually downloading um, this software. So I got this software from a website um, that I'll have linked in the description. So you want to go to the glovepie.en.softonic.com site. I'll have that in the description. It'll just pop up with this. Don't click anything else on here. Just click the free download button for Windows. It's this right here. Nothing else. Just this one that's right here. You click that. It'll install it. It'll install it as a zip file. So make sure you have like uh, WinRAR or something like that to, um, to export it. And make sure you create a folder on your desktop or something like that. It doesn't really matter where it is. But if you create a folder um, right there is my folder. I called it Wiimote. Create a folder and export all of that stuff straight into that folder, wherever you want to put it. Inside of this folder, then, you'll see all of these different things. You can ignore everything except for GlovePi application. Not GlovePi underscore bird underscore 5DT. GlovePi, and then you'll see it's an application type. So, you click on that. It should open up. It'll ask you to run it as administrator. Just do that. Uh, and then it'll look something like this, just without this code here. So now... It's pretty simple for you guys. For me, it took a lot longer because I, I had to actually script everything and code everything myself, right? But what you guys do, super, super simple. Go to the description, copy either the vertical code or the um, horizontal code, whatever you want to use. I would probably, if you're using a nunchuck, probably would go with the vertical code. If you're not using a nunchuck, you go with the horizontal code. So if you are using one, that's what I'm using right now vertical code and you just copy and paste everything that's in here now if it doesn't look exactly like this um, you should be okay um, but if it doesn't work then make sure you just make it look exactly like this by like removing spaces or making sure that this like vertical code text is like purple or if it's not purple you can just delete it it doesn't do anything so I mean I could just delete that right now um, so it should look something like this. It might look a little different. It might be off the screen. You might have to scroll a little bit, whatever. It doesn't really matter. As long as it looks kind of like this, it should work. So now you're going to fire up Roblox. So I'm in uh, fame sim here. And then you just need to press run. So if you see this run button on, on glove, press run. So now that you've pressed run and you're in the game, you should just be able to take your controller and I'd press, first I'd press these buttons up here, just the little arrow buttons there. So if you want to go forward, you can just press the forward button, it'll make you go forward. You can press the left button, it'll make you go left, and then right button will make you go right, and then obviously down button will make you go down or backwards, right? So once again, let me just show you guys this. Up, right, or yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. Left, and then down, okay? So that, those are the simple commands. And then once again, this is for the vertical mode. Horizontal will be a little bit different, but you should be able to figure it out. I'll show it later though. And then we also have the A button. And you guys can kind of figure out the functions as well if you just look in the, um, in the actual script here. So obviously key W is up, key A is left, key S is down. So basically whatever you press on here, it relates to a keyboard, um, like, hotkey basically and um and then a mouse click so a on the vertical controller will make you jump because it does space so if i just press a i'll just jump and then next is tab so if you want to like hide the leaderboard uh or show the leaderboard you can just press the one button right here on the controller you guys can see that. Be right there. Just click that one button. It'll make the leaderboard hide and show. Next, if you guys look back in here, we have the plus and minus button. This is something that actually took me a little bit to figure out because I had to look through the Roblox settings, but it's working good. So if you want to zoom in and out, you can press the minus button to zoom out, which actually makes sense quite a bit. So, you know, minus button, you zoom out plus button you zoom in pretty simple we have the home button as well the home button will be clicking um so if you want to just like click on something like let's say we want to walk over to 
you know, this coin here and we want to click on it, you can just press, possibly, you can just press the home button and that'll click on it. So if you just click on the home button, completely works, all that. Next thing, let's jump back into here. If you want to, let's see, what is that? The right button. If you want to right click, you can press the uh, the two button down here. It's the very bottom button at, at the bottom of the controller. But I don't know why you would want to right click, but you can if you want to. Last thing here, last thing that has to do with the Wiimote at least, is if you want to move your camera around, because obviously if you're walking around like this, you can't move your camera. You press this back button here. So if you see the B button on the bottom here, press this B button and you hold it down, you can use the left and right to move your camera around. So we have left, right, normally, and then if you hold down B, left and right, it'll follow your character and move your camera around. So that's it with the Wiimote, but if you have a nunchuck as well, there's some other cool things that you can do on here. This is actually the main thing if you want to be playing more than just, well, I mean, really you need this for anything, but it's a lot easier. I don't know. You can you can use the Wiimote by itself if you want, but you can't move the mouse unless you have the nunchuck, right? So pretty simple. You just literally move the mouse around or this little, like, I don't even know what you would want to, want to call it, like this stick this joystick around so you just move it around it'll move your mouse around pretty simple i mean there's not really anything else so you just connect it to your controller and then boom there it is um can spin that around cool and then click on things you can either do obviously the home button as we already said if you want to click on stuff or i also made it so this uh, z button that's on the um nunchuck you can click that z button as well and click on things so like those chests over there. I can just click the, the Z button. It'll send everyone over there. Or if I want to click on like that, for example, and go to London, then I can just click on that and then there I am. So that is about it. If you guys have any questions, uh, make sure you guys comment them down below. There's nothing much to it. Um, there's also the horizontal mode uh, that we will have in on the screen in just a second but most of you guys that's basically the end of the video because nobody really cares about horizontal for the most part um but yeah so that's it if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments okay so now if you guys want to do the horizontal code though you just have to import the horizontal code same way you did it with the um with the vertical code right import that really quick you don't have to change anything just press run again you can go back into roblox and then you hold the controller like this. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, obviously, if you're holding the controller like this, this is the up button here. It'll make you go forward. This is the left button. This is the right button. And this is the down button. So they're basically all the same as if you were to be playing on a normal controller. Um, nothing else has changed to my knowledge. We'll look down here. Uh, if you press the 2 button, you can jump with that as well uh, on horizontal. You can't do that on vertical unless you want to add it yourself. But the 2 button will make you jump just like the home button does. And then we also have uh, plus and minus is exactly the same. The left button, um, so if you're wanting to click, is A. Um, so, I th so I think that's the same as... No, okay, so home on the other... Home on vertical, sorry about this. Home on vertical clicks, um, home on horizontal jumps. So then you click with A on horizontal. And you can change this in the settings if you don't like it. Um, you know, not a problem at all. So yeah, A will click for you. Um, and then same thing for the right button. You just press the number two, same thing. Um, and then we also have down here, just obviously the same with the whole holding B and then moving your screen back and forth. So it's pretty pretty simple. I mean, if you guys want to ed edit anything, you guys can watch some videos as well. But it's overall, I mean, in my opinion, pretty self-explanatory to just easily change like key W to left or whatever you want to do. Um, you can easily just go down here now that you know the functions. Um, but yeah, once again, if there's any questions, um, either just reply them down below, tweet at me on Twitter, I'll hopefully see those. 
Um, and make sure to subscribe as well, because we're about to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. We're like, like six away. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.